guys, it's Erica here with Tiny Acorn. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing another favorites video. This is my third one in this series and I'm very excited about all the stuff I'm gonna share with you guys today. It's been really fun doing this series because I get to talk about things other than strictly fashion and thrifting um, and just share things with you guys that I've been enjoying and inspired by lately. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so before we get into the video, I just kind of wanted to give you a little life update on how things have been since the move. Um, so if you guys didn't know, we just moved from San Francisco where we were living for about three years um, to Bakersfield, California, which is a very different climate um, Bakersfield is much hotter. It gets into the triple digits in the summertime. So I definitely thought like it was going to be a bit of adjustment for us. Um, but so far you guys, I have really liked it. It's been so nice. Um, some of the things that I love about where we live are walking around the neighborhoods and seeing front yards. I know that sounds funny, but <laughs> where we used to live in San Francisco, it's, not very common to have a front yard. Um, and so I've been really enjoying seeing everybody's front yards and all of the beautiful flowers that they have in their front yards. And everyone just goes all out for spring here. And there's just flowers everywhere. So many rose bushes and Oh my gosh, you guys, it's just, it's gorgeous. And the weather's been so nice here right now. I know it's gonna get really hot soon, but um, I've really been enjoying the nice weather. Some other things I've really been enjoying about Bakersfield are, I've been able to make some really great connections already with other like thrifters and vintage lovers that live here. And it seems like there's like a really great community of people here that um, are into thrifting and vintage. And so I'm really excited and hopeful about some of those relationships and just the new connections and everything that we'll make once we've lived here for a while. I've also really been enjoying having help with Monty. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing that Jason and I were able to go on a date night recently. And even this coming Friday, Jason is going to be playing some music at a wine bar here. And I'm excited about that because we get to go and invite some friends. And my sweet mother-in-law is going to watch Monty so that we can kind of have a night out. And it's just been so nice having help with him um, and just the support of family. I'm sure those of you that have it, you know what I'm talking about. Those of you that don't, I've been there and it's hard. <laughs> so yeah, so all in all, I think, you know, we've lived here for about a month and a half um, and I have good things to report. So I'm, yeah, we're really liking it here. Also, we're really loving our house, our new house, um, and working on it is a little overwhelming. There's a lot of projects that we wanna do, but um, slowly but surely, I am actually updating my Instagram and sharing some of those projects that we're working on on my um, new house highlight um, on my Instagram, so you can check that out there. And there will be more to come, of course. All right, so let's just hop into my favorites. Favorite number one is actually this dress that was a gift from one of you guys, Anne Callahan. Thank you so much, I love it. This dress is just like, oh, the perfect moo moo of my dreams. I am in love with it. I love how it has tears at the bottom and then it buttons all the way up and it's this like really cute blue and white stripe. Um, I just, adore it and it's perfect for nursing. And totally hit the nail on the head with my style when she gifted me this. I am just beyond thrilled. Okay, let's hop on to my number two favorite. Tufting. Okay, you guys, I've been wanting to do tufting on a favorites video since like my very, very first favorites video and I didn't do it because I was holding out, hoping that I would get this purse so that I could like show you guys and be like, oh, this is my favorite. But it, it just hasn't happened yet, you guys. Tufting is all over right now. I don't have a TikTok, 
but it's all over TikTok, it's all over Instagram. Rug tufting is the thing right now. It's addicting to watch. These people, they have like these tufting guns and they can just make a rug any design that they want and it's it's amazing. I just watched Drew from Lone Fox's video where he attempted to tuft a rug and he killed it you guys, but he was sharing the whole process from beginning to end and how it was really hard for him to even buy the gun because rug tufting is like so hot right now. So it's kind of hard to even get your hands on one of those rug tufting guns, but um, it was really fun to watch his video and I really want to do it. But then also part of me is like, I have a kid. I have no time for anything in my life right now. What makes me think that I'm going to have time to start rug tufting? Um, <laughs> yes. Sometimes I talk myself out of doing things that I want to do. It's pretty bad, but anyways. Maybe one day I will go ahead and try this. If you guys have done rug tufting or purse tufting or pillow tufting or even punch needle, punch needle is a great place to start. I have a punch needle kit in my Amazon cart that I haven't bought. It's been there for a couple months. I need to stop making excuses and just get the dang thing. Let me know if you guys have tried punch needle or rug tufting. All right, let's move on to favorite number three. Okay guys, this is my third favorite. Look at how cute this is. Well, it's not totally just this bag. <laughs> this is actually a makeup bag by the brand Merit. They reached out to me and wanted to send me some products. And whenever a company reaches out and wants to send me something, it's always very nice. Um, especially if I really end up loving their products, which is what happened with this company. So Merit is basically all about minimalist makeup. And as I've gotten older, I'm now 35, my makeup routine has just been stripped down to the absolute essentials. And that's all I use and that's all I need. And that's what Merit's all about is like, what are the essentials for like a naturally beautiful face of makeup? And let's only make those. The founder of Merit noticed that when she got pregnant, she started researching all of the ingredients and everything that is in our makeup products and set out to make something that was like super, super, super incredibly clean. And so after so many different tests and research, they came up with these products. So I feel good about that. The fact that it is a super, super clean product. So let me just do a run through of like all their products that they offer. Okay, so this one's called The Minimalist. And it is basically in between a foundation and a cover and a, what is that called? Cover stick, cover stick. What is that called? A foundation and a blemish stick? Oh my gosh, the word is eluding me. So my regular makeup routine, and you guys have probably heard about this before, I use Dr. Jart on my face. It's a Cicapair cream, so it starts out green and then it kind of neutralizes the red in your face. And then after that, I always just use a concealer. That's the word I'm looking for. Okay, so after I use that on my face, then I just use a concealer like under my eyes. So this is so perfect because it's not an overall foundation, but it is like kind of like between a concealer and a foundation. So you can put it on certain areas and then you just take a brush and you buff it out and like kind of blend it into everything. So this is like what I'm already using anyways, but just like the better version of it. Okay, so they have a really cute little uh, blush, which is like this cream blush. And I love how you can just, I'm just gonna do some for you guys. Just like spot it on to your cheek. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. How easy is that? You just boop, 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 boop. And then I just rubbed it in. It's so easy. And then they have, this is the Day Glow in the color Canva. I love this. It's so smooth and it just kind of gives you that shimmer. I always put it there and then right here. Now other key places that I like to put it are like under my eyebrow. I like to put a little dot on my nose and then I rub that in and then I put the rest of it there. Kind of interesting, huh? And then I like to put it in the corner of my eyes right here and rub it in. 
So that's where I highlight. I love this one. It's so easy, just this little stick. Oh my gosh. Eliminating brushes. I don't understand these people that have 20 different brushes to put their makeup on. I can't be bothered with that. <laughs> Another favorite is the brow. How great is this? Just like add a little bit of color, but not like over the top. It's just so nice and natural. I love it. But anyway, so that is great. Now they have a mascara, which I love. It doesn't smudge. So yeah, that's really great. Anyways, you guys don't want to sit here and watch me put makeup on. But anyways, I, I love this one. And then lastly, they have these beautiful little lip glosses. And I love this color of this one. This is Marrakech. So pretty. Is that not pretty? Now, I had a different lipstick on underneath this. So but I'll just put this on top so you can see. It's nice. It's not sticky or anything either. It's really smooth and nice. So anyways, um, I'm totally converted. I love this makeup. Sometimes I also just want to carry this like as a purse because I think that's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, so cute. A little corduroy, little. So anyways, that's my spiel for Merit. Um, go check them out. I will link them down below for you guys. So my fourth favorite is this whole kind of trend of upcycling. I absolutely love it. I love that everybody's doing it. I love that people are just being super creative and reworking thrifted and vintage things mostly like bed sheets and towels and quilts, tea towels and stuff like that. And these things that you oftentimes find in a thrift store that there's an excess of and people aren't using for their actual intended purpose. Like who uses tea towels anymore? I don't know. I don't, sorry if you do. Like for example, Selena Sanders, she makes these gorgeous shirts and dresses out of vintage tea towels. They're so cute. Her shirts, literally get snatched up like that. Like I cannot get a shirt for the life of me. I should just like reach out to her personally and try to get a shirt because <laughs> it's so hard. Oh, they're just so beautiful. I love her silhouettes. Now you guys have heard me talk about Psychic Outlaw. They upcycle quilts and make really cute coats out of them. Um, Honeybee Design Hive also does the same thing. Um, and then there is uh, Sunworn Vintage. They basically upcycle towels like beach towels and stuff like that. And they have some of the cutest little tops. I love their little tops and dresses. They're so cute. And this girl's just so talented and amazing. She's in Salt Lake City. Um, okay, and then another super talented company, a la Reunion. Love her stuff, love her dresses. She makes these like really beautiful, super flowy, quilted, amazing dresses um telling the stories of africa through these wearable art pieces so cool so she's an amazing person to follow too um lawless finds is another great account to follow super sweet girl i don't i need to get one of her tops she's like so precious and so sweet and um she has some really fun little blouses that she makes out of just recycled, I think, I don't know, let's see. Maybe bed sheets, I'm not sure. They don't even look like bed sheets. I'm not sure where she gets her fabric from, but how cute. Oh, I love it. I love her little tops. She always has this like, the, like this really cute little flowy, frilly little top. Oh, this dress is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Okay, so yeah, I will link all of these upcyclers for you guys down below. They're pretty cool. And I think that what they're doing is amazing. Okay, my last and final favorite is actually a musical album. Now I haven't done any music on my favorites before because it's kind of a bummer when you can't play the songs and you know, copyright issues and yada, yada, yada. 
but I might reach out to the guy and see if he'll let me play one of his songs on this video for you guys so you can hear what it sounds like. If the song plays right now, then you will know he said yes. If the song does not play, then it did not work out. Yeah, this guy, his name is John Mark Pantana. He has an album called Love Secrets. I happened upon this um, Christian indie playlist. I, you know, I grew up in the church listening to K-Dove and K-Love and all the Christian music you could possibly imagine. And I mean, I liked it for the time, but like, let's be honest, a lot of it is just not good. I'm sorry to say that. I'm just like very picky, but his music, when I listened to it, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is actually music I would listen to. Like this does not sound cheesy at all. And it's just really amazing. Like whether you believe in God or not, you know? Um, so I love his album. I've been listening to it nonstop, like beginning to end. It's really cool. Cause he also has this little book that goes with it called love secrets. The book goes along with the album so each chapter coincides with a different song so that's pretty cool probably the most refreshing book that i have ever read about god's love for us and his story and his testimony is actually like very very similar to my own and so i kind of felt like a kindred spirit with him in that um, but anyways, yeah, you guys, his album, you can stream it on Spotify. I'm pretty sure you can listen to it on anything, but go check it out. Go listen to him. I will link his music for you. I'll link the book and I'll also link his Instagram on there and you can find more info um, about him and everything that way. <sighs> okay, so that was all for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and make sure to go follow me over on Instagram at tiny underscore acorn. I would love to see you over there if you're not already. And stay tuned for next week's video. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna do another come thrifting with me video. So stay tuned for that. Okay guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And remember, you are beautiful just the way you are. Bye.